tumesherekea virusi za ukimwi na covid kila mtu wako hapa akumbusha watu wawili ukikumbusha watu wawili si hii same hii message sitaenea itaenea kabisa ili vile niko hapa saa hii last bonongo kwa university na nilipata na hii janga eh akiwa primary kwa hivyo wakati nilijijua nikajifungua mwenyewe na nikaanza kutafuta group za watu ambayo pia ni positive kwa community yangu na kuwaelimisha kwamba kuishi na virusi sio maisha ya maisha eh nilifurahia sana wakati nilitilua kwa mmoja kufanya kazi kwa county government the minister of health kwa sababu nilikuja kukutana na wengi ambao siku anawajua na saa nyingine inabidi hata ninawapeleka wawili watatu kulingana mfuko yangu kwenda tukule nyama pamoja na nikuambia kuishi ni kitu muhimu sana. Mkaribie waadhiriwa sana. Kwa sababu kwa hii janga ya corona saa hizi hata wengi kupata chakula ni shida. Na hii watu kupokuwa identified wanaweza kuwa identified through our, our facilities in the county. Kwa sababu most of them most of the children are orphans. Kila mama ni widows. Kwa hivyo pia ni watu ambayo wako karibu wako wa muhimu sana kuwa karibu nao. The retention rate for patients on antiretroviral um bonerbis was however not affected much since we issued patient drugs to cover between 3 to 6 months and reduced exposure of covid uh, to covid-19. They received drugs at home through their peers and courier services for civilis Our positivity is among the highest nationally calling for the need to scale up civil testing especially in Kajiado West and Central since their testing is low and the positivity is the highest in the county in those two sub counties your excellency and madam cast reaching the 90% of all people living with HIV know their will know their status and 90% of people with diagnosed HIV infection receive sustained uh, antiretroviral therapy 90% of all people receiving antiretroviral therapy will have viral suppression that is the 1990 goals and moving to an hiv free generation uh, will be challenging especially for the hard to reach parts of kajiado for us to achieve and to push further to an hiv free population we are, i'm encouraging every person to get tested today We have an HIV testing uh, stand and I think later we'll be launching the self kit um, and help to put um, an end to this pandemic. Know your status if you're still positive, protect yourself and your partners and get um, ART. Each of us needs to educate each other to stop the spread of HIV AIDS. We marking uh, World AIDS Day tunataka ku encourage hawa ambao wamekuwa infected ya kwamba as mzee said here there is always life after testing positive let us encourage those ones who have not tested to test so that they know their condition let us encourage those who are living with that disease wapate um, 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 maisha waone ya kwamba it's not the end of life and above all let us focus on what Dr. Masi Mtahi Kagwe and the entire team and his excellency the governor have always told us to put on our masks wananchi wa Kajiando naomba tafadhali tukikomesha corona na tukikomesha HIV pia tunaacha kutenga watu kwa sababu ya kuwa wagonjwa mtu akishamaliza ile isolation na ameambiwa ako negative na ako tayari kurudi kwa kazi zake tusitenge watu kabisa kwa sababu mtu mwenye ametengwa ni mtu mwenye na hofu na si hofu ya ugonjwa ni hofu ya asira ya asira ya kwamba wale watu walikuwa nakula nao wapendo wake wameanza kumtenga na kwa hivyo naomba ya kwamba stigma ya HIV stigma ya covid tuangamize kama tumeambua tuvae ile barakoa tumeambua tusanitize na tuweke ile social distance tufanye hivyo 
pia kwa HIV tujue vile HIV inasambazwa tujue maneno ya dawa ndio basi tusikinge tusianze sa zile tunaambua twende kupimwa tunafikiria sisi tukipimwa tutatengwa vile wengine wametengwa Kenya has adopted its own national team uh, for measure HIV and COVID-19 and it's very really important to talk about in you know, a partnership because this is not something that one can hide alone but we all have to come together in order to achieve all the goals that we have set. Looking at HIV, uh, previous speakers uh, Nelson and others said 1.2 million people uh, on treatment is not something that we can really you know, take it for granted. I think this is again the collective effort and we congratulate Kenya for uh, being on track towards achieving the 90-90-90 target. But when we look at the new infections, I think it's important to pay attention to the young people, to the key population, because that's where most of the new HIV infections are coming from. So it's very important that we put communities at the center, we put people at the center to make sure that we avert the new infections that are happening among this group of population. One thing I want to tell you today during World Day is that all of us know stigma, all of us know discrimination. You do not need language to know that you're being excluded. So we don't have to explain it further than that. Okay? And so our theme, as a UNH uh, representative in Kenya said, Kenya has now has downloaded the theme from USAID, I mean from UNAIDS, to be able to make sure that uh, we, we, we own the process. And our theme is commercial HIV and COVID-19 to a DBK. Personal responsibility. It's about assigning yourself to say, I am protecting myself. There is no World AIDS Day that I've ever spoken to, I've spoken and I've used this mask. But today, just as we have talked so much about Jikinge, uh, today we are also saying do everything that we need in order to make sure that we protect. I also want to address one myth. Many people think that you cannot hear somebody if you are wearing a mask. So this mask is just bad manners. So we just have to stop and speak from the place where you are speaking because the highest form of infection comes when there is no social distance and they are talking closely together. So can I request, even for all those who are coming to speak uh, around here, even when you go to the lounge, keep your masks on. The same way you used to say, the ABCs of HIV, A was abstinence, B was being faithful, and the third one was condoms. And what we used to say, it is not the only method, but it's an important method to protect yourself. So we are continue to address the ABCs. Even as we give COVID stimulus, even as we give COVID food, can we also make sure that we include people living with HIV? Because a pandemic is a pandemic. HIV and human rights walk hand in hand. It is like the right hand and the left hand. And I remember in my early years of HIV programming, because I've been working on HIV from 1994, one of the things that a woman from El Salvador said is that HIV does not give me special rights, but it does not take away either, any either. And it's an important premise in which to na ninaomba watu wetu kila mmoja wetu aweze kufanya juhudi ya kujitambua kwa sababu kama hauja patwa na janga hili shukuru Mungu na uweze kusingatia njia ambazo itakuepusha Tumeelezwa mara kwa mara kwamba ugonjwa huu unapatikana tu si kwa njia ya uwashara tu mzazi kwa mtoto haswa katika kule kujifungua namna unaweza jifunga ama kujikata na kisu ama shindano sindano sorry iliyo na virusi hivi kwa hivyo tujue njia hizo na tuweze kujilinda kutokana na hayo yote ukisha jitambua kwamba uko nayo dunia haijafika mwisho kwa msaada wa wataalamu wetu madaktari wetu na hata kwa ushuhuda 
ya baba wetu ambaye amesimama hapa na mama yetu umesikia kwamba wanaishi maisha ambayo kila mmoja wetu anaishi na ni kwa sababu amejikubali na pia ameamua kuzingatia yale sheria maagizo ya kumwezesha kuishi maisha ya afya na unyanyapa aitoki tu kwa wenzako unyanyapa unaanza kwako lakini ukisha jikubali na ninaomba watu wetu tusimuone mtu aliye na virusi kama ni mtenda dhambi kama ni mtu ambaye amechukiwa na Mungu kama ni mtu ambaye am, anaadhibiwa na Mungu kwa makosa hiyo sio ukweli hiyo sio ukweli wale watu wanahitaji upendo wetu tuwapende kama ndugu zetu tuwapende kama dada zetu tuwapende kama wazazi wetu na tuishi nao bila ubaguzi bila ubaguzi vijana wetu tujiepushe na njia na mienendo ambayo huchochea watu kujiingiza katika maneno mengine ya kuleta madhara ya uambukizi wa magonjwa haya we have reduced the annual aids related deaths from a high of 166000 in 2007 to a current 20,000 in 2019. Kenya has also reduced the new infections from over 100,000 to around 41,000 again by the end of 2019. Again, Kenya has made successes in reducing the prevalence of HIV, moving from a high of 14% in the 90s to the current 4.5% in terms of HIV prevalence. And therefore these gains that have been made can only be attributed one to the political leadership and, commi and commitment of our president two to the leadership and commitment of all our elected leaders including our governor today but also to all stakeholders who are present today for really making Kenya shine and get the gains in terms of HIV AIDS we are ruling out the UHC scheme we have about 20,000 cars available for poor families in Kajiado to be able to access services. And so, Governor, we want you to lead these efforts and to really bring these people into the fold. The Minister of Health is planning to bridge this gap through upscaling the current HIV testing services and technological innovation. We follow the advice of our global partners, such as WHO, who recommend HIV self testing as a strategic intervention to ensure continuity of services in the context of COVID-19. And so today we are delighted we shall be launching an ATM. This ATM unlike the one that we popularly like that has money this one is one that is going to give us self testing facilities. It will also be attached to virtual counseling services provided through a call center that is manned by able counselors. And all we need to do is get a skip and dial 1190 or download the application to be able to then get support in this use of the ATM. I would like to call upon all fellow men and women who have never been tested for HIV to take a test and to demonstrate their solidarity with their loved ones. We know that we should not leave anyone behind And so this machine that we are launching today really is an avenue for us all to show that solidarity because it's only when we come together we shall be able to defeat this pandemic. Today many people have spoken about stigma for COVID-19. As we fight the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the most stumbling blocks, jambo ambalo limetulekea kikwazo katika janga hili la COVID-19 nilo jambo la stigma and i'm very happy when the nak chair came here and shared with us her experience in covid-19 in, in programming for hiv and when the two champions came in and shared their stories 
we really need to learn from history. We really, really need to learn from history. I can tell you, working in the Ministry of Health, we are facing challenges where when we want to test people, people shy away. We are facing challenges when it comes to people going back to the communities, challenges when it comes to the home-based care program, challenges when it comes to reintegration of these people in the community. Yet, I can tell you, as we speak today, as we sit today in this area, you've all seen with the hands that came up, you've either been tested or you've either come to contact with someone who has COVID-19, meaning it is nothing to fear about. Because this disease is like any other, it's a disease that is new, yes, it is a disease that we are fighting, but stigma is one of the biggest bottlenecks that will prevent success when it comes to COVID-19. And so we need to take lessons from the HIV pandemic and ensure really as a country, and a country which has been celebrated for overcoming stigma when it comes to HIV AIDS, let us also be celebrated for overcoming stigma when it comes to COVID-19. And the Ministry of Health commits to continuing to work in partnership with your county to end AIDS. To Kajado to host this uh, year's World AIDS Day is yet another demonstration of the confidence that you have in us and our ability to give the best. We appreciate the national government and our health stakeholders for their continued support of Kajado. It's a private venue for matters of national importance and interest. Kajado falls under the category of counties with moderate HIV inf infections with a prevalence rate of uh, st currently standing at 3.4% as per the 2019 HIV estimates data. The presence of immigrant work workers living far away from their families and who interact with host community calls for prescription of tailor-made HIV pro programming that suits the dynamics of this county. One of the areas I have realized needs some focus is HIV testing and counseling. We only have about 40 of these in our health facilities, most of whom are offering their services through the support of our health partners. Perhaps with more HIV personnel in our facilities, we could have a much clearer preference in our county. As such, therefore, I have directed the county's Department of Health to ensure we have at least five HIV testers and counselors in each of our level four hospitals. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the HIV AIDS challenge is one we are a we are determined to confront. My government has put in place measures that have proved to be working for us in mitigating the impact and containment of the scourge. Towards this end, we are today launching the Kajado County HIV and AIDS Profile and Kajado County HIV and AIDS Strategic Plan, both of which present critical data to aid in policy decision and planning. The profile unmasks a picture of great strikes in the HIV interventions. The success in the fight against HIV and AIDS in Kajado County is owed to multilateral approach to the fight against the pandemic. In this regard, I wish to mention the role played by partners in the HIV and AIDS response. I want to especially recognize Afia Nyota, Yabonde, Kenya Red Cross, Care, of aid, care for AIDS, among others who have ensured that HIV services are within reach of the people of Kajado. Huge resources have been invested in the response by these partners and we are showing results for it. Domestic resources raised by the county government through budgetary allocations remain a drop in the ocean. As such, therefore, huge support for our valuable, from our valuable partners is inevitable. A working relationship between Kajado County Government and the National Government through the Ministry of Health and the National AIDS Control Council as regards HIV and AIDS response can be described as one that is symbiotic and cordial. 
The Ministry of Health has continued to provide technical support, while NAC, which has always been at hand to offer technical assistance to the county, has been able to ensure that critical enablers, such as policies, are up to date. Going forward, my government commits to allocate more resources for the HIV response through the county treasury allocations. We also commit to look into our legal environment to ensure that our legislations are enablers and not a hindrance to HIV and AIDS pre prevention and management. In this regard, my government plans to introduce a bill at the county assembly that will ensure that a certain percentage of our health budget goes into HIV domestic financing, as well as creation of a county fund for HIV and AIDS and non-communicable diseases.